determine the structure of the following compound. Molecular formula is C9 H10 O2. IR values are 16.70 per centimeter, 2900 to 3000, a medium peak at 29 to 3000 per centimeter, and a couple of peaks at 1600 and 450 per centimeter. Proton NMR shows four signals, a singlet at 2.5, a singlet at 3.8 for three protons each, and then we have two doublets at 6.9 and 8 for two protons each. Carbon-13 proton coupled spectrum is also given, so we have a quartet at 25, a quartet at 53, a doublet at 112, singlet at 129, doublet at 130, singlet at 163, and a singlet at 195. Remember, never jump on to the structure directly. Go step by step, starting with the molecular formula. Extract as uh, much information as you can from each of the data given. So from the molecular formula, we calculate the IHT. That is 5, 9 into 2, 18 plus 2, 20 divided by, my 20 minus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, OK? IR 1670 per centimeter. Conjugated. Carbonyl. Conjugated ketone head, okay. Carbonyl head, okay. Carbonyl head, abhi hame nahi pata ki kya hai, but carbonyl head, of course, sharp signal hai. 2900 to 3000. 2900 SP3CH 3000 could be SP2CH. Bunch mein aata hai. 1600. 1450 CC double bond aromatic ring. Okay, so uh, from these two peaks, 1600 and 1450, uh, an aromatic ring is confirmed. So that means an IHD of four. So it's a benzene ring. IHD is equal to four, and we have a carbon in here. So carbon in has an IHD of so there is one double bond. So your IHD is complete from these two peaks, four for the aromatic ring and one for the carbonyl ring. Then we have the proton NMR. So solve it peak by peak. We have a three proton singlet at 2.5. CH3 attached to carbonyl. So we have a singlet for three protons at 2.5 and that you have proposed is a CH3 next to a carbonyl. And then we have a three proton singlet A3.8, CH3 attached to oxygen. And then we have the two doublets for two protons each. And the chemical shift values say that these are aromatic protons. If you have such a situation, it means it's a para disubstituted benzene ring. So you have a para disubstituted benzene ring. And we also have a carbonyl group. Okay, we have carbonyl group and we have methoxy as well. So from these fragments, we have six, seven, eight, eight hydrogen, eight carbons till now. We have another CH3 also at 2.5. And you propose that it may be attached to this carbonyl here. So then we have nine carbons, of course. And hydrogen is 4 plus 3. 7 plus 3 of the CH3. We have another CH3. So 10 hydrogens are also here. And we have two oxygens. Now you have to connect. So one option is that you connect this methoxy to this aromatic ring, okay? And then you connect the carbon in to this carbon here and CH3 to this carbon, carbon in carbon. So we can have a connection like this. So we have a benzene ring is here, which is paradise substituted. We have a methoxy group here that uh, appears at 3.8 as a singlet. And then we have a CH3 here attached to carbonyl that may appear at 2.5.
this carbon is connected to the benzene ring so we have one seven eight nine carbons six seven ten hydrogens and two oxygens but we can have another structure also so you have this benzene ring and uh, you might have a ch3 here and you might have an ester here yes sir. but this ester is conjugated so it would not appear around 1745. Which of these two structures is more logical and why? We say that this structure is correct and this one is wrong. If you chemical shift values, proton NMR, then both of them almost same. Here. So why? The carbon-13, we have a quartet at 25. Quartet ka matlab hai? CH3. 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 Okay, then a quartet at 53. A CH3 at 53 means CH3 O. Ye wala. Methoxy. Okay. Or CH3 at 25. This uh, usually is carbonyl. And then we have a doublet at 112. Okay, doublet means CH at 112. So one of these aromatic CH. Then we have 129 singlet, quaternary carbon, doublet at 130, singlet at 163, and a singlet at 195. Sir, ye carbon ki 163 singlet value is the is This is 163 singlet, carbon 13 in mm -hmm. Sir, this show that this is the same oxygen directly attached. 163 singlet. Means the quaternary carbon. Okay. Or? 195 or a ketone. 195 is a ketone. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is also an indication. This peak at 195. Yeah. Uh, this is for the ketone. It's not for uh, the ester. So we have an ester here, it will not appear around 195. Conjugated ketone, yes, it may appear around 195. One reason. Okay, second, second reason. Why this structure is correct and this is wrong. Let's see. See, a normal isolated ketone, which is not conjugated, it appears around around 17 15 per centimeter okay and if it is conjugated then its uh, wave number decreases to about 16 70 or 16 80. a normal ester appears around 17 35 to 40 and even if it is conjugated it may not go down to 16 70. it gives the value even 17 15 or 17 10 the gossip yeah but it may not go down to 1670. 1670 is only for conjugated ketone. Maybe conjugated ketone. An isolated ketone usually appears at 200 or 202 or 5 ppm. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, see you next time.